Fall Guys, the game you probably heard about so much around two years ago and then it just disappeared. But this year it has probably come back stronger than ever, literally becoming like one of the top games everybody's playing right now. And you might be wondering, how did that happen? What happened? How did it fall off and stuff like that? And how did it come back to like the top? Well, we have to first start it off with 2020. Remember that time? Remember the, the, the pandemic? Can I even say that on here? Well, in 2020, a small game called Fall Guys came out made by Mediatonic, an indie company that was actually being supported by Devolver Games who made some bangers that you are seeing on your screen right now. Now the thing with Fall Guys was, it was a small game. It took the basic idea of Battle Royale, but put a spit on it, making it more of a like a game show that you'd see on TV. You spawn in as a bean, literally like you're a bean, you make some weird cute ass sounds, you have the balance of like a three month old child, that's a terrible comparison because don't try to balance a three month old child, okay? Whatever you do, do not do that. And you can like, you know, grab onto people and be an annoying person, or you can try to get that crown at the very end that will give you that victory. It was such a simple idea that worked. It blew up. Everybody started playing it, and one of the main reasons was because it was free to play on PlayStation. Now, if you don't know, PlayStation has this thing that obviously has changed since then. Now you have like Essential and Premium, where you were able to get free monthly PlayStation Plus games, and of course, Fall Guys was one of them when it came out in August, because it perfectly came out like the 4th of August, which just ended up being the perfect time for PlayStation to be like, hey, let's do a deal, which kind of worked because then they had exclusive skins with them, and also it came out on PC, but it had a $20 price point behind it. Everybody started playing Fall Guys, literally. I remember I was obsessed with it. I have a second YouTube channel where I devoted content to it, and people were so entertained by it. People were non-stop talking about Fall Guys, until a different game decided to come back into popularity, and that was, well, popularity, just just kind of blow up into popularity and that was you guessed it among us among us took over the internet to this day still being the meme that everybody talks about being sus fortnite had a goddamn collaboration with them even fall guys themselves have two among us skins inside of them by inside of them i mean in the game you get the idea and it just kind of like just blew up into popularity and since it was so similar in an odd way to fall guys being you know a weird small creature person you know you're a bean and in that you're like a spaceman and it's kind of cute but you murder things it just everybody forgot about fall guys everybody forgot about it and that was another disadvantage since mediatonic was such a small company and devolver games wasn't a small company but they were probably also not as prepared as mediatonic for the huge popularity they just lacked in releasing content at a speedy pace, a pace that you could have went in and enjoyed your time. You kind of got bored of it. Season two came out kind of early-ish, but it just felt like it was so a bit disappointing. But one huge thing that worked in my opinion was the fact that everything was kind of free. Once you had the game, you didn't have to purchase the kudos inside of the game, which was like the, the only purchasable currency. You got crowns, which you got for winning, which were free. But also on top of that, over the like few seasons that the game was still like not free to play, which I will get into later, you actually were getting crowns inside of the battle pass which allowed you to get the skins that were in the game and get this the battle pass was completely free to play so there was like this little thing inside of fall guys that just worked because everything was free to play and over the next few years the two years until obviously everything changed they had huge collaborations they had collaborations with playstation they had collaborations with like doom they had goose they had just so many collaborations that obviously i can't think of top of my head so bam Ooh. Bah. And, oh, 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 there's another one that was the most cringiest thing i could have done but those were the collaborations you saw in fall guys it was kind of cool but it's just the lack of content that kind of made it a bit eh. fall guys was always that game that i always came back to which was i guess a really cool thing but it just never you know latched me on for more than like a month you know at a time until april of 2020 where big epic games came in and they were like hey devolver games you mind if we buy not only fall guys but media tonic off of you and look at it it's bought epic games the giant company that feels almost like disney like disney right now where they're just going around the place and purchasing companies bought media tonic 
and also the IP of Fall Guys. So now they can help out the company itself and make not only Fall Guys an Epic Games game, but also, you know, put a little bit of twist on it. Now, if you don't know, Epic Games also bought Rocket League, which what they did to Rocket League, they did the exact same thing to Fall Guys. Rocket League came back in bigger popularity and look at it. Fall Guys came back in even also bigger popularity. But that wasn't until June of 2022 when the game went free to play but had huge changes come to. Not only did they make a new currency called Showbucks, which now you have to pay real money to buy some of the outfits that were either costing you kudos in the free to play version or whatever you want to call the previous version of the game, that cost you kudos inside of the actual purchasable version of the game and now you have to pay Showbucks, but honestly they actually do let you you spend kudos on some items which is just usually like some shoes or socks or some hair you know or colors patterns which isn't anything crazy but they do kind of lock off some great outfits out there now obviously since then we've seen some collaborations like they've had obviously inside of the battle pass itself which now costs you show bucks they have assassin's creed it's your adore they have godzilla mecha godzilla like there's some great stuff so it kind of makes the battle pass a, a purchasable but i think the thing that made fall guys so much more popular was the fact that it was finally free to play but also i never mentioned it was never on xbox or nintendo switch until June of this year yes players who had a switch players who had an Xbox suffered for the past two years I remember people constantly asking me when I used to do content when will it come out on Xbox or the switch and they announced the switch version and Xbox but it was taking forever to release and wha bam free to play it's on everything you can play it on your goddamn switch when you're on the go you can play it on your Xbox you can play it on your 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 obviously trusty place that you okay, PlayStation? I, I, I think it's okay. And on your PC, of course. Can't forget the PC gamers. PC Master Race. <laughs> Get it? No? It's not much of a Master Race. But there is a bit of a disadvantage, in my opinion. And I kind of already talked about it. And it's, it's the whole idea of removing the currency of crowns. Currency of crowns was always a special thing, in my opinion, with Fall Guys. The fact that you could unlock them and then use them to purchase stuff. Obviously, you have the crown battle pass inside of the game, which is a really neat addition. But in the past, we had the crown battle pass on top of being able to use the crowns to then purchase stuff. It makes the victories feel a bit underwhelming and they kind of give you out the crown shards, which is like another way you can get crowns inside of the game. And it's just a bit, mm. but hey, it's a free to play game. You can play it anytime, anywhere, since the Switch allows you to do that. It doesn't run the best on the Switch, honestly, but hey, it's still really cool to see the fact that we get to do it. You know, I really do love Fall Guys. It's a fun game, as I've mentioned. It's, you know, your little beans and stuff. And there's content creators continuously playing it. There's new people growing in popularity. And it's just a neat game that anyone can play because you don't need a membership for it. You don't need your Xbox Live. You don't need your PlayStation Plus. And you don't need a Switch. What's the Switch membership called again? Switch Plus? I, I, I don't know. And also on top of this, they're making a season two soon. Like literally, I think as of the time that this video is gonna go up, it's just gonna be a few days until season two releases. And guess what? Inside of season two, you're gonna have 200 tiers to the battle pass. Unfortunately, it'll be purchasable. But past tier 100, you won't have any levels until you get to a certain level point where you actually get different outfits for characters that are in the battle pass. But it's kind of like the style system we have in Fortnite right now, where it's like, oh, get your like, golden stars or whatever they're called and then you could like purchase other styles onto the characters that are inside of the battle pass basically taking that idea but putting a kind of different spin on it you know not being like purchase them personally i really like the way this battle pass works where it's like left to right not whatever the hell fortnite's doing right nowadays it's so confusing so you know that, that's a great thing i prefer being like okay five more tiers and i get what i want not i can just get it now yeah it's a bit of a this isn't a fortnite video but yeah Fall Guys, back in popularity. I think I came to this conclusion multiple times in this video, and it's great. I'm really happy for it. Fall Guys, go hard. Don't go home. I don't know what I'm saying. If you enjoyed this video and enjoy this type of content, I know this is like the first one that I'm uploading of this style, but if you're looking forward to more of these, talking about games, video games, live stuff, everything, I'll be doing that on here. And if you're from the Phillies YouTube channel, what's up? You, you you get it anyway thank you so much for watching probably not a lot of people watch this video but if you did and you're one of them again be sure to drop a like at the video subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out <laughs>